there is an order to life. And that order is God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman. And, and it doesn't mean that women cannot return to the Father without a man. That's dumb. Anyone that thinks that is dumb. Women must do what men have to do in order to overcome the fallen nature, a brand new mind, a clear mind that you some people want. Men, you got to forgive. You got to overcome the spirit of your mother. And so do you ladies. You have the same problem that the men have, and the men have the same problem that the ladies have. Fear, doubt, jealousy, envy, strife, revenge, uh, anger, worry, suicidal thoughts, loneliness, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, a lost mind. A lost mind. A lost mind. You must be born again. Meaning, because the Christians don't even tell you what it means to be born again, they don't know, is that you must overcome. If you want to be free, you don't have to do it. There's no requirement that you have to do it. You can totally stay in your misery. You can, to you can spend the rest of your life trying to hurt others. Try to get revenge against others, being jealous of others and worry and gossiping and trying to control your wife or your husband. You can spend the rest of your lifetime doing that. That's up to you. Or you can be free. You are responsible for you and no one else. You're not responsible for your mama. You're not responsible for your daddy. You're not responsible for your brother or your sisters. You are responsible for you. And hell, love people that evil. Love people that it dwells in. Because if it wasn't for a human body to dwell, you can, hell would not exist. It has no its identity. And so it appears through human bodies. The mind and the emotion that made a home in the body. And it pretends to be you, and you pretend to be it. You and evil are one. You're an evil one. And when evil can get you to overreact with your mindset and to try to bring pain upon others, it rejoices because it feels like life. When you overreact, you give life to evil. It feels alive. As a matter of fact, when you don't overreact to evil, it feels like death to evil, and it has to depart from you and go make a home in someone else to try to get life. Why do you think people love to make other people angry? Why do you think people love, human beings love fighting with one another? There's no other reason to be fighting. But they love to fight with one another and accuse one another and say one race is better than the other and blame everyone for their problems because they have a false sense of life, but they think that life is them. They think it's their life, and they call death life. What a sad way to live. What a sad, sad way to live. When I look at the world, it fills me with sorrow. Children today is going to suffer tomorrow. Oh, what a life. You can, it's so weird. I mean, weird. It's interesting that right here on earth, with all the hell going on around you, 
you could be free if you wanted to, just like that. Right now, you could walk away from this show a free person. But you got to overcome the imagination. You got to overcome the anger of the heart. Anger is evil. There's no such thing as love and anger. It doesn't exist. I know you, you've you been made to believe that, oh, Jesus was angry. I'm sick of hearing the Christians say that because it made them think that Jesus had the anger that they have as a human being because the human being doesn't realize there is no, there is no you. There's something that made a home in your body that is angry, but you think it's you, and then the devil tell you, you know, and the preachers tell you, when Jesus was angry, and then the devil tell you, yeah, see, Jesus was angry. And so you're like, oh, yeah, Jesus was angry, so I have a right to be angry. You've been deceived. There's no peace in anger, zero. No peace in anger, you have fear. Anyone that has anger has fear. Anyone that has fear has anger. Anyone that has anger is a murderer and cannot be trusted. Trust not an angry person. I don't care who it is. 